Good evening and welcome to King's Kids. I'm Kyle Neese and this is my wife Gretchen. We're Gigi and Paul. We're Colton Maley's grandparents. We're going to read a story for you tonight out of 2 Chronicles 20, a story about Jehoshaphat and his singing army. So if you want to follow along or read the story at some point, we want to read it to you and just uh, listen along. Jehoshaphat was a wise and strong king of Judah. He served the Lord with all his heart. He got rid of all the idols in the land, and he sent priests throughout the country to teach the people God's laws. Then Jehoshaphat heard that the Moabites, the Ammonites, and the Edomites had banded together against him. They were encamped with a great army near the Dead Sea. Because of this, frightened families from all of the cities of Judea, Judah came together to seek the Lord. In utter dependence upon the Lord, they fasted and prayed at the temple, seeking an answer from him. Jehoshaphat stood among them and led his people in fervent prayer. Then the Spirit of the Lord came upon Jehaziel, one of the Levites. He said, Do not fear this great host, for the battle is not yours, but the Lord's. Be faithful, stand still, and see how God, the Lord, will save you. This brought great comfort to everyone. Early in the morning, Jehoshaphat praised God for the victory that would be won that day. He asked the people about sending a choir ahead of their army. Everyone agreed, and the singers were appointed for the choir. Have you ever heard of an army led by singers marching toward the enemy? Can you imagine hearing all those voices echoing throughout the valley? At the first sounds of singing and praising, the Lord sent ambushes against the Moabites, the Ammonites, and the Edomites. The Ammonites and the Moabites became so confused they destroyed the Edomites, and they continued destroying each other. And by the time the singing army had arrived, they found only dead bodies. There was no need to fight, just as the Lord had said. For three days they gathered the riches, the jewels, and other spoils. And on the fourth day they blessed their God and returned to Judah and Jerusalem with great joy. Do you have some questions for us tonight? Yes, that was such a good story, Paul. Maybe. Did Jehoshaphat serve the Lord? Yes. How do you, how? Um, with all his heart. With all his heart. Cole, <clears throat> who marched in front of the army? A choir. A choir. A choir of what? What were they doing? They were they were they were singing. How was the enemy destroyed? At the at the very first of the choir, they got confused and they destroyed each other. That's right, Maylee. Who gave the victory to Jehoshaphat's singing army? And God. God did. That's right. What's our scripture? Do we have a scripture? Yes. Oh. Our scripture was, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercies endureth forever. Psalms 107. One. You guys want to sing a song maybe to kind of help us remember that? Yes. Okay. Let's try this. Thanks to the Lord for He is good. His mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord for He is good. His mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord for He is good. His mercy endures for you. Give thanks to the Lord for He is good. His mercy endures for you. Good job. Well, Colt, how do we close out every evening? In prayer. In prayer? Well, let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you that we ask you, hide your word in our heart. Help us to remember your word. And Lord, remind us of, of the songs that you give us, that you put on our hearts to sing your praises, Lord, that you might be our help in, in all times, that we might see your victory. We give thanks to you that you're the victory. In Jesus' name, amen. Cole, what is it that we say? And remember, remember 1 Peter 2, 2 9, 9, you are a king's kid. kid.